show you the little intro thingy. I, I went to make coffee and then Parker ruined my drink. He like, he likes to, uh, he, he prefers drinks that are in cups. I have like this fancy water fountain-y thing and he just will drink anything that's in my cup instead. I don't have a fancy water fountain thing that like has a motor in it, but he still steals mine. I think this is a little loud. Let me turn that down. I usually go for 20. How does that sound? Oh, I can get rid of that. There we go. So yeah, basically Trilby... Oh, it's one of these games that stops when you click out of it. Um, basically Trilby games are point-and-click horror things, and Trilby's a thief. And the game is not entirely just about thiefness, though. You will see, there will be things. There's a reason this is a, a, a spooky, a spooktober stream. This goes a little Gatling umbrella thinger. Or not Gatling, but little grap grappling. He's a gentleman thief. He's going to do things. I'm so sorry for this ridiculous aspect ratio. There was no way to make chat look not stupid. This is, this is the ratio that it is. It's like, I don't even know what this is. This is like five, three. Like, I don't, I've never encountered such a matter. Um, is it not supposed to be music here? I've not played this before, so I don't actually know how the interface works, but it's a point and click, so it can't be too hard, right? Well, I mean, it can be hard, but not to figure out, but to, to understand the ridiculous puzzle. Certificates, let me, is there not a way to cycle through the look actions? Bachelor of Law awarded to Lawrence Defoe of the University of Warwick. Lawrence Defoe? Okay, I don't care about that. Yes, Parker! I'm streaming! Have you come to ruin everything? We're not talking about Abyssrium tonight. How much do I know about the game? I know there are spooky things, and I know I have all of the games downloaded. Um... What do you know about the game, Parker? Is that so? Oh, is there a way to toggle actions quickly? I hate when I like lock look. I guess that kind of works. Okay, that's okay. I, I get how it works now. I prefer to leave the same way I came in. What do you mean? Oh, I guess we're we, you got to check the safe. Is, is there not music in this game? It's creeping me out. I guess the film solicitor got here first. Right, so basically, rich guy died. If you missed the intro thing, rich guy died. And we're gonna steal stuff. It's got some garbage. We got some certificates, so that's nice. They have no value to anyone except the owner, and he's dead. Good for him. Wow. What do you mean? Check the cabinet. And serve from here, then it's empty. What do you want me to do, dude? Take off your mask. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with myself. Okay. Uh, look. Look at the door. It's a door. Doesn't seem like Victorian fixture. Must be an addition made by the most recent tenant. We got books. What kind of books the middle class keep around themselves in order to appear learned. Um. Just leave or something? Is this is? Why can't I open the door, Trilby? Here, you, you use Grawly. What is a Grawly? Look at the Grawly. My grappling hook launcher made to look like an umbrella. Is that a word? Grawly? I've never heard this before. The name Grawly is a portmanteau of grapple and brawly. Oh, it's 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 British. It's a British portmanteau. Keep looking at the door. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's not a leave menu button. That's a... Okay. Look at this beautiful, like, Windows 98 interface, by the way. This game couldn't play because it was in, um, 325... or 320 pixels wide. Which my computer does not even support. It's another door. It's actually the same door. That's what we in the trade call a door. A large rectangular piece of wood used to fill large, ungainly holes in walls. It's a door. What more is there to say? The creator really liked doors. As you've probably already figured out, it is a door. Keen senses tell me that this is a door. 
Is this a door I see before me? This isn't like the actual way to leave this room, is it? Like, it won't open. It must have been jarred shut somehow. That's not spooky at all. Well, I guess we'll have to take the old-fashioned way out. And unfortunately, the text does automatically advance, so if, if just read just in case I don't manage to catch something in time. Too bulky to carry around. It's also unsigned, therefore valueless. Well, let's le let's try the door. What? No. Oh no. No. Stay away from me. Stay away. And then we were the bad guy. Well, I mean, we are the thief. Oh wait. We were wearing a panty on our head. I keep forgetting I'm wearing this thing. But who the hell was that guy? Oh, look at those. Look at that that Sierra mouth. It's more of a LucasArts mouth, not a Sierra mouth. They're different mouths. Jam shut. It's not suspicious at all. I'm so glad there's music. I get like, I feel weird when I stream and there's not music in the game. It like puts additional pressure on me to like say words. Spooky. How's the music balance by the way? That's maybe still a bit loud. How about that? I need to set something up so it like automatically resets my volume to a certain thing when I start OBS. Another sort of cat burglar who leaves the taps running out of sheer malevolence. Aw, why not? <laughs> he's got a bidet. You know he's rich because he's got a bidet. When I need it, I'll let you know. Ugh. Actually, don't let me know. I do not need- that is not information. Nothing there. How anticlimactic. I was hoping there'd be bloody body in the bath. That's some consonants for you. Didn't Yahtzee? Yeah, this is made by Yahtzee. Um, and you can get these games free now. I, I'm i not sure they were originally free. Like, I think there was like a special edition that you had to pay for, but now that is also free. It's all on fullyremblematic.com, I think. That's where I got it. Well, nothing up here. I'm sorry, I'm definitely not playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp while I play this. Let me put my phone over here. Go, go down the stairs, dude. Go, no, up, down the stairs, Trilby. You, you gotta use the feet. Uh, would you? What, what, what are we doing here? No, use. Oh man, I love point-and-click games. Um, feet. Use your feet, Trilby. Did you forget how to use the stairs again? We've, we've had this talk, Trilby. Get- go down the stairs, Trilby! This is harder than, like, making Parker do a thing. Oh, escape is shut down? Really? I actually didn't know that. Am I- Am I supposed to be going somewhere in particular, or...? You don't like lettuce in your cheeseburger? Oh, come on. I should really do it with a haircut. Lettuce and tomato are an aspect of a good burg. Am, am I not supposed to be able to operate this? Did you gotta look at it first? Why can I not operate these stairs? That's me, Trilby. It's larger than a window and smaller than a garage, so I guess it's a door. How do you run out of content? Th I know, Parker. Like, do they just not want to do any more games, or did Yahtzee just give up on doing the thing? Like, there's only so long you can do a show like that. I, I'll admit, I did like that show, but I there's only so long you can like the angry gamer thing, and I, I'm pretty tired of it. Oh, you gotta check the rug? Oh, what do you mean? You didn't even... He didn't even try. Okay, is there some magical thing I have to do to actually be able to walk down the stairs, or what's the deal here? Please use the stairs, Trilby. Trilby. Why, why are you so dumb? Well, you have to manually save? Okay. Uh, the stairs. Why, why can't I go down the stairs? 
What? Okay. This is gonna be one of those point and clicks, isn't it? Okay. Why is there even a foot- a feet button when the hand does the same thing? It's kind of... These games always kind of had too many verbs. Oh, look. Look at the painting. Is it spooky? It's a pleasantly professional quality portrait of a bearded man in Victorian explorer's outfit. Little plaque at the bottom reads Sir Roderick Defoe. Oh, was extra credits then? I don't really keep up too much with this kind of stuff. Take the table, Chilby. Alright, we have escaped the hardest puzzle in the game, which is how to use stairs. So, it's all downhill from here. Maybe I've had something to cook, but I don't. Maybe there's a human head in it! Just open it! Evidently nobody cares if I starve in this place. That's nice. Oh, it's a stick! That's gonna be important. You gotta have the stick. Get get the stick, Trilby. Trilby! Get get the stick! Trilby, please. There's a stick! Clearly you have to get the stick. Okay. It's very particular about how you can pick up the thing. Hello? Yes? Do you need something? Is that so? Hello? Just stand- just- just get right up on my desk, thank you. Why is there this concrete murder shelter in the backyard? I can't see, Parker. Yeah, get in through the window. Don't any windows open in this stupid place? Climb over the wall, dude. It's quite unclimbable. It's like... It's like six feet tall, dude. Just, just, just like hop gently and you'll reach the top. Like, come on. Oh, we've got a pool. Good old-fashioned pixel hunting. I don't bring my trunks. Check out this dithering. Oh, there's no dithering on this. Well, there's a little dithering. Well, somebody's been hard at work. Can't climb them. No. Look at the holes, Trilby. I don't want to get dirt under my fingernails. What? Don't you have some snide comment on the holes? Someone's on a real number on this lawn. Digging their way out? No. It seems more like they were looking for something. Yeah, I think Escapist kind of got crappy around certain events, but I never, I never really kept up with it since like my freshman year in college. Honestly, that's when when I first heard of Yahtzee, which I think is kind of around when this game was made, wasn't it? Or maybe a little bit earlier. Um, so there's nothing here, so that's fun. I still don't know how to use stairs. Honestly, burying is not really a particularly good way to hide things. Like, I mean, have you ever tried to dig a hole? That's that's a day's work right there. It's just all ornamental. The drawers and cabinets are all empty. There's, there's fancy glasses though. Get them. I know some pretty unscrupulous art dealers, but I doubt even they deserve this. Look at it. Landscape. It's a rather amateurish landscape. Signature identifies as the work as Matthew Defoe, circa 1818. Yes, quite. Oh, there's a cursor, too. I doubt any of these would be helpful. Where did that guy go? Ooh, TV. Take the TV. I had no comment this time. In other news, so Society World. <laughs> the Society World? The sudden death of Sir Clarence Defoe. Sir Clarence and his wife Julia were found dead last Thursday in Defoe Manor. Get down! No! No! Our correspondent Peter Daltrey has the report. Get down from there! Come here! Get, get down! Just four weeks ago, there was a buzz of activity and moved in with his new bride, J Julia Swanson Defoe. The house killed him, by calling it. After this shocking tragedy, the place is quiet as a tomb and empty of human life. Except for me. And that other guy. Sir Clarence only proven his attachment to the Defoe lineage almost one year ago. Would you get down? Get down! 
and since then have been renovating the long abandoned family mansion pre preparation for his marriage. The police already declared the tragedy as a murder suicide, although many have insisted that Sir Clarence was incapable of such an act. The debate rages on while the fate of the house and family fortunes remains unclear. Let me just make sure that Septipus posted. Oh, I don't even have a Discord open. I can never trust these things. Thank you, Peter. Our top stories again. Oh, Minister. Spooky. I hate television. Let me just see if Septipus posted. Yes, it did. Okay. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh, hello. It's about time you showed up. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. And well, you should be. I've been stuck in this house for days. Where's the way out? I'm sorry, I don't understand. You're the guy who owns this place, right? Uh, no. Oh. How'd you get in here? A uh, window on the second floor. <laughs> is it still open? No, jammed shut. Damn. Well, looks like the house has a new guest. I hope no no more turn up. I've only got five chairs. If you'll excuse me, we've got a lot of work to do. This rich guy only has five chairs? Wait a minute. Who are you? Oh, I beg your pardon. Hardy's the name. Philip Hardy. I thought it said Morty for a split second there. Trilby. Mr. Trilby, I'm afraid you are now a prisoner. The house is going to eat us. Like me and everyone else in the house. A prisoner? Don't ask me why, but once you get in, the house won't let you leave. I tried all the doors and windows. None of them open. It's a curse, just like the Mad Father. The garden wall is unclimbable. I can't tunnel under, under it. But why? Who's keeping us here? Beats the hell out of me. Whatever it is, certainly may not be safe for my fists once I get out of here. He's wearing a leather jacket, so you know he's tough. If there's something you're not telling me, it'd be a good time to get it off your chest. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. I assure you, I'm completely mystified. So how many more people are in this place? Well, he said five chairs, so four. Only three more. First is Jim, the youngest. He turns up just after I did. I'm so glad you know the ages of them for some reason. He's a good kid. Second, Simone Taylor. You probably know her off the telly. She's a correspondent for the BBC. We're very British, aren't we? She came here to make some kind of documentary. I think she's stuck here with us. Last of this AJ. Skinny bloke with a stash. He won't tell us who he is or where he came from. Sounds like me. All we know is he's here longer than anyone. Nearly a whole week. I think I've already met him. Oh, what a heartwarming story. Anyway, why don't you see if we can track them all down? I'm calling a house meeting in the lounge. Spread the word. I trust you'll enjoy your stay at the Defoe Manor, Mr. Trilby? Still don't understand. Just find the others and tell them to meet up in the lounge. Okay. I love how I do this thing. We can discuss things properly then. I love how I do this thing where I find the right place to go the absolute last. I checked out like every corner of the house before the one you're supposed to go to first. M Morty, we gotta investigate the haunted house, M Morty. Ah, oh, yes, heads. No thanks, I have a thing about lions. That is a small lion head. That is... Yeah, that is a small lion. What is this? Bell jar. Even if I wanted that ugly thing, which I don't, I'd have to break the glass to get to it. What is it? Glass bell containing a rather hideous looking wooden idol. A sepia print. It's an ancient picture of two men in full hunting gear. Label reads Sir Roderick and Carstairs? <laughs> His name is Carstairs. He's the stair car. He's the ancestor of the stair car. Ooh, a rifle. I want that. Give give the rifle. That That is clearly a shotgun, but I'll take it anyway. No, get Trilby. Get the rifle. Whoa, this thing's heavier than it looks. I'm not carrying this around everywhere. Aw, oh, what a wussy. Better find a place to put it down. Wait, what do you mean? Just, what? Just put it back where you came from, dude. There you go. 
Why did you make me do that, Trilby? And where did the music go? I'm gonna look at things. A very old photo sepia photograph of a man explorer's gear, standing over a dead tiger. Sir Roderick tames a vicious beast. The gun he's holding looks a lot like the one on the fireplace. The photograph portrays a native a native bearer in an aggressive stance before a very wary looking lion. The label reads Savage vs. Savage. That's car stairs. The label reads a native village. Okay. It's been lit recently. It's not enough to kill animals in Africa. He has to come come and do it in Canada too. Stuffed tiger head mounted in the act of snarling, presuming to justify its death in small, some small way. Alright. <laughs> what awful outlets we have here. Just plug this one in a totally separate outlet. Can I pull this? I, I can for some reason, okay. Doesn't seem to pick anything up. Let's try again later. Okay. I mean, it's supposed to be a horror game, so I assume the story is fucked up. No latch, no chain, no deadbolt. Doesn't even have a keyhole. So why won't the bloody thing open? It's more of a wall than a door. This is becoming very, very tiresome. Oh, hey, there's a phone. Use the phone. Line's dead, of course it is. Somehow I was expecting that. This is the sort of thing you can't do anymore with cell phones. You gotta, the first thing you gotta do in a horror game now is explain why the phones don't work. Newspaper. I should always keep abreast of the day to day events. Of all the things he takes, the, the you can keep the newspaper, not the gun though. Just copy the local paper, dated last Friday. So Clarence Defoe, Last of the Drawing, Blinding, yeah, we already know that. Death, death, oh, stabbed to death, wait, hold up. His recent bride, Julia Swanson Defoe, was also found dead in the mansion, apparently stabbed to death. Inspector Jacob Barnes offers an investigation, closed the case. There's no mystery here. Defoe killed his wife and then himself. Of course there's a mystery here. They've already disproved the possibility of a third party. Sir Clarence's solicitor, blah, blah, blah. Last I saw Sir Clarence, who's in... Infinitely content. Plus, there was no suicide note. All well, if you say so. Of course, tigers are from Africa. It was in that Weeble song. Lions and tigers only in Kenya. I'm really good at going everywhere except the place I'm supposed to go next to find the people. I'm really good at that. So, is this one of the ones you can use WASD? It is not. He does walk very loudly, but... The lack of music. This looks like a guy with like... That looks like Rorschach, honestly. In the background. Or like a guy with a whole shot in his face. Which is also kind of what Rorschach looks like. Why is he so bad at using stairs? Okay. I'm gonna find it in the, the exact last room that I check, aren't I? <laughs> Why is it... This is just exactly the luck I have with things like this. Oh, oh, it's person. Hey, hello, person friend. I'm not in the mood for picking fights. Oh, come, just talk to where you frickin' creep. Pardon me, ma'am. What? Oh, hello. Philip mentioned we had a new guest. You're Simone Taylor, right? Yes, you must see me on TV. And you are? Trilby. Got a first name? No. <clears throat> hey, wait a second. Not the cat burglar, Trilby. Oh, wow. I presented a crime watch special on you once. Oh, man. I wish I had a camera right now. This could be huge. Their mouths are so big when they talk. 
You wouldn't consent to an interview, would you? Madame, even if I had a sudden retarding brain injury that would cause me to do so, wouldn't our apparent imprisonment have a slightly more urgent matter? Ah, 2006. Uh, well, I admit I was the first... I thought so the first day I was here, but I've been here four days now, and I really think that I'm learning a lot about this place. If I could just get these infernal doors open. Philip's calling a house meeting in the lounge. Yes, it's so like him to do that when a new face appears. I'll see you later, Mr. Trilby. I mean, it's not really that hard to, to take down like a normal door. Just kind of, if you don't care how loud it is, strange woman, or the, the state of the door after you open it, you know. I guess Victorian doors are a bit thicker, depending, but. Okay, now where do I go? I went through the whole house. What are you doing, Parker? Oh man, I'm gonna get very tired of switching the icon thing. Why is the feet icon even a thing? There's no point for it. Wait, I already, what am I doing? It's already here. There's no other place that other people could have been. I hate when games do this. Where you gotta do everything in the exact order and people just magically teleport into the right place after you have done the prerequisite thing. Like somebody's gonna be in the in the yard now, I know it. Looks like a prisoner. I guess it's got kind of the orange jumpsuit, but it's supposed to be one of those like old timey like hunter outfit things. So obviously somebody's out here now, because I went upstairs and did the thing. Oh my god, Trilby, just keep walking. Trilby! Okay, oh, son of a... Aw, <laughs> oh, now I have to switch to the feet. <sighs> Maybe there's somebody under the water. Water is deep and smells strongly of chlorine. I think I see the interior of a tool shed. Why is it made of solid concrete? Who builds a solid concrete tool shed? Locked. Best cat <laughs> burglar stomps around like an elephant. He's made out of lead. It's his superpower. Oh, where could they possibly be? <laughs> this is... Infuriating. They're not even- the, the people I told to go to the lounge are not even here. They just magically teleport out of existence the moment they're not needed. This world operates like a computer's RAM. The moment something is not needed it is unloaded from existence and it just is not there anymore. Uh, let me guess. Somebody's in the bathroom now. Okay, I've checked absolutely everything. Uh. Okay. Oh, I heard a spooky noise. I, I, I can't tell where the spooky noise came from. Is there a corpse in the shower now? I heard spooky noise, but nothing happened. Uh. Oh my god, Trilby. Trilby! Trilby! Okay, I don't think you can... I think you gotta use the feet. Oh, you can't go through the doors with the feet. Somebody in the oven? Is somebody in 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 the in the sink? Is somebody in the fridge? Okay. This is not how I was planning to spend the first like hour of this game, just looking for a magical invisible person. I'm I'm just gonna open a, a walkthrough now. I'm so glad it repeated 
the sound thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a walkthrough because this is infuriating. Uh, I'm gonna guess the the only room I haven't gone to is that room that I was just in. So apparently I need to go back there. Walk downstairs, open the left door three times to go outside. Use the tree to hear a voice. Oh, god damn it! I hate games like this. Okay, so I was supposed to look at the tree. Because obviously, you know, there's going to be a dude there if you look at the tree. So this is definitely one of those games that you're absolutely required to use a guide for. Unless you want to just dick around for eight hours. I hope this guide doesn't have spoilers, but I have no idea. Oh, boy. I can use some music again. It's a tree. Hey! Hey. D yes? Uh, okay? Don't just hey at me! What do you mean, hey? Talk to the tree. Oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Talk to the tree. Is there someone up in the tree? This is everything I don't like about old adventure games. Hey, have you come to set us free? No, apparently I'm a prisoner now too. I'm guessing you must be Jim. What are you doing in the tree? Thought I might be able to get over the wall. But the tree's too far. It's like one inch away. Then there's a ravine just outside the wall too. Of course there's a ravine. So I understand, yes. Philip wants us to all meet up in the lounge. Oh, okay. Hi there now. Yeah, it's one of those games where you have to do absolutely every possible thing. Like, you, you can only, you know, open the mystical gate of Narnia if you pee on the rock uh, that's to the left of the, the pig merchant. But if you pee on the rock to the right of the pig merchant, it uh, ends your game and deletes your save data forever. Because, you know, that's that makes sense. Open the door, Trilby! <laughs> I get, this is gonna make me mad. Unfortunately, this walkthrough is not too long, so, like... I figured this... I would mostly be reading things, not, like, you know... Pressing everything on everything forever, at all times. Oh! Okay, we actually have story now. I expect there's a lot you want to know. Join the club. So let me see if I've got this clear in my head. You're all trapped in this house by some invisible intelligence. Right. And you can't leave. Nope. And as soon as I entered, I became trapped too. Pretty much. Why? Why would anyone want to keep us as a prisoner here? Maybe they're just lonely. No, if they wanted company, they would have shown themselves. It's obviously a murder house. Maybe they have. Maybe one of us is behind all of this. Oh, don't be silly. Why would any of us want to trap a load of people in here and pretend we didn't? That sounds like somebody who, somebody who wanted to trap a bunch of people in us and wanted us to not know it would say, I don't speak loony. <laughs> we mustn't squabble amongst ourselves. Tempered by paranoia and suspicion, we'd only hinder each other says the cat burglar. I suspect we... We assume for now that we all four are innocent. I agree with that. <laughs> we five, including AJ. Where is he, anyway? Couldn't find him anywhere. Saw him after I had just arrived, but he ran away from me. Well, that's odd. Listen, Mr. Trilby. We all work as a team since... In this house, that's the way it's been since it started. Like, three days ago? So we all have to share information. No secrets. So why did you come to this house? He's a cat burglar. Why do you even have to ask? Well, I didn't come here to take part in some bizarre Big Brother event, that's for sure. Is there something you didn't know you know about this house that would help? Anything at all? Oh yeah, the curse. The house curse. Obviously, as a cat burglar, I know about that, but didn't think to mention it before now. All I know is that the last heir died just... And it's supposed to be empty. Hmm. Well, guess you're not much help then. Rude. 
I suppose there's an extra pair of hands is always useful. Not completely clear on a few details. Do I get to ask you all some questions now? Sure. Just ask any of us before you like. Hmm. Spooky noise. Mrs. Taylor? Yes. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> I didn't even ask. Yes. I'm just a weirdo. Uh, tell me a bit about yourself. Well, I'm an expert. I'm in the import expert business. You're a thief. That makes two of us. I'm not a thief. I'm a treasure hunter. Oh, he's Nathan Drake. I only take what belongs to dead people. He is Nathan Drake. Since I'm not using it, you know? A new friend here. He's a thief. True, but I'm also a gentleman. I only take what I'm sure no one's using, too. Not sure that's a great comfort to them. I am using the ultra low latency thing on YouTube, so sometimes that does cause people to buffer or sometimes they have to refresh. So if you have an issue, just refresh and usually it's fine. How did you come to be here? If it's too much of a problem, I can switch it back to the regular normal low latency and it's a little more stable, but uh, people seem to really like it. So what do you know about the mansion? Plenty. I read an article this morning's Treasure Hunter Monthly. <laughs> Okay. It was built by some explorer guy, Sir Roger Defoe or something like that. His wife died giving birth. He and his son went missing after some time later. Well, maybe the article will tell you about it than I could. I'll let you borrow it. You just kept it with you? Well, I guess you would. You are Nathan Drake, so he keeps it all in that little, his little notebook. Uh, how did you come to be here? Came up here looking for some artifacts. Yeah, he came to steal stuff. I'm sure you had the full consent of the Defoe solicitors to do so. Shut up. I just heard of some old family tomb somewhere under the building. Ah, oh, so that's why he's digging. I mean, really old. Anything inside probably doesn't belong to anyone, so find his keepers. Managed to call in a few favors to get over, over the ravine and back wall. And of course, I couldn't get out again. How many people know you're here? A handful, I suppose. They wouldn't suspicious, get suspicious until I go missing for a few months, though. Hmm. That's all I wanted to know. Righto. Shouldn't somebody be looking for, like, Mrs. Fancy popular lady here? Famous lady? There's a Survivor Sims? Huh. I might need to inject some music into this game if it like never has music. I hate to be a mood killer in like a horror game, but like, why is there no music? Well, that's sweet of you to ask. We're in for it now. I'm a correspondent for the BBC, but you probably already know that. I'm afraid I don't watch much television. Oh. <laughs> well, I do outside broadcasts for the news mainly. Sometimes I present documentaries or variety shows. Whenever I'm needed, really. Very much of a Jill of all trades. Well, that was useless to know. Thanks. How did you come to be here? I only came down here for a documentary. Been a lot of interest in the old ghost stories lately. <gasps> Ghosts. We figured something in the faux manor would pull in the ratings. Not just because it would make interesting viewing. This is why I hate television. Excuse me, I was talking. I arrived before the camera crew. I was supposed to wait for them. But I couldn't resist just taking a walk around the grounds. Next thing I know, I was in the backyard. I looked all over, but I couldn't find a way back to the front. It was my own fault, really. How does that happen? Yes, it was. Uh, what happened to your camera crew? The music, depending on the events, if it's relatively quiet, no music. I kind of figured it would, like, ramp up when there's... Oh, sorry, there's talking. I figured you can't stop the talking in this. But I don't think that was very interesting anyway. Ah, uh, what do you know about the mansion? Ooh, disturbing stories. My favorite. Here we go. Been stories of weird happenings around it for decades. Oh, of course. 
spooky things. Ever since the first disappearance of the original owner and his son, people have gone missing in the area around the house more than anywhere else in the country. Why did we come here? <laughs> people from all walks of life. Oh, that's reassuring. People like us. Err, don't say that. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> Why would you stop right when it gets interesting? You suck, Trilby. It won't answer me. Oh, I tried to talk to the chair. Jim. Uh, what do you know about the mansion? What do you know about Perducci? We could always, uh, just about to see the roof or the playground wall. We also used to tell each other it was haunted. Why? Are there any stories or legends attached? Well, friend of mine. I mean, we just learned about the whole disappearances things. Crazy hermit who killed people and ate them alive. Oh, that's reassuring. And so is Nathan Drake. Tell me a bit about yourself. Like what? I don't know. Where you were before you came here. I was in St. Trinian's boarding school, not far from here. Been there since I was 10. My parents move around a lot, you see. How old are you now? Nearly 16. <laughs> yeah, he looks exactly like everyone else, but... Are they still still the Game Boy games there? Yeah, I think. If you go to, like, specialty game stores, you can still get old stuff here. I don't know if we have too many. I'm sure we have something, but I don't. I used to go to a place at, um... At my college town that had basically everything that was pretty cool but i don't know what we have around here if i need something i usually just get it online these days old house richard dare me to knock on the door then you ended up in the house he got stuck in here for a pound shut up philip what happened next The spooky door opened. Woo! Sp spooky door. I'm sorry, my voice doesn't go very high. Spook door. Friends didn't call the police or anything? How should I know? I guess they didn't since nobody came. That was on Wednesday. This will probably know I'm gone now. I see. That's all I wanted to know. We have learned almost nothing other than horrible things. And we're just random people. But what's the story? The house only traps people individually. I didn't try to trap Jim's friends. Or Simone's camera crew. It's only letting us in one at a time. We're talking about the house like it's intelligence. People eat a house. Spooky. How did they know we were coming? I don't know to leave a window open for me or risk one of you finding it. You think the house is haunted? I wouldn't use that word. But I definitely have a very odd feeling. Like we're being watched, I suppose. Live streamed, perhaps. Maybe this is one of those Simone's raiding winners. Excuse me? We're locking up some people in a house against their will and secretly filming them? Sounds like a natural reality TV show progression. It's also highly illegal. Wouldn't stop some people. Where the hell has AJ got to anyway? The house ate him. I was hoping he'd be here. He was doing some research in the house. He was going to share it with it tonight. How could you do research when you're stuck in the house? Your son should go look for him. Ah, oh, it's going to be me. It's fine, though. I have the walkthrough now. I should have just pretended I don't have the walkthrough and just stumbled in to the things, but I didn't know it was going to be this convoluted. Talk to the tree. You know, the secret is in the treat. Spallone Babagoose cooties. We look for him as soon as we get up. Oh! Okay. We all went to bed, apparently. What was that noise? There was exactly zero noise, Trilby. Oh, everyone's dead. Good. Simone? Philip? Jim? Oh, God. Who did this? Oh, you did this? The answer's that. 
Stay back, I'm warning you. Who are you? I love that scare chord. It's me! It was me all along. Spooky. Christ, I've never dreamt so vividly before. So disturbing. I've never opened my mouth so wide before. We have stinko man mouths. Use. Alright. Mr. Spooky Man. Let me look at the door a bit more. Take it back. This is the best door in the whole house. I used to go out with a girl who had a door just like that. A door that wouldn't quit. Mm, yeah. Have I already told you about the girl who had a door just like that? Yes, I think you did. Her name is Patricia. She dies like sapphires. Hair like a mountain of fountain of night. The most incredible pair of, of knockers. Earrings. Oh. Because it was a door, you know. Anyway, she left me for the lead singer of The Doors, which explains why this door reminds me of her, I suppose. It's very literal of you. Sorry, I have a tendency to ramble when players won't stop looking at the bloody doors! It's a door. Okay. We've upset the narrator now. I'm sorry, narrator. I just had to know. It's supposed to be a spooky game. And yeah, not everybody watches every live stream and so on. Subscribing to people on YouTube is a very passive thing, so some people just want, you know, certain kinds of videos, some people want other stuff. Hello, AJ. Give me your book, nerd. There's nothing on or under the table. Get the- no, get the book! Trilby. There's a time and place for rest. <laughs> There's like no reason for them to be more than one action on any one thing. Just let me click things. Hi, Mr. Trilby. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me? Excuse me. Excuse me. Please. Stay stay still. S something on the second floor. I sorry I got distracted. Yes. Just just read the text honestly. It goes so fast. It's really easy for me to miss it. Seen AJ anywhere? It's not since yesterday morning. He's going to be chopped up and then the fridge. Yeah. Did you say why? No. She said something about getting to the bottom of all this. <laughs> getting to the bottom of the fridge. A freaking Tupperware thing. <laughs> Hello, yes. Treasure Island. I found it in the living room. How are you liking it? Well, it's a bit heavy going. I think I prefer Terry Pratchett. Do you know where the others are? I don't know where Mr. Hardy is. Miss Taylor's up in the library. We have a library? On the second floor. I think she broke the door open or something. Ah, oh, progression. Uh, yeah, that's all. Yes, hello! I just talked to the door. Good. The door is very rude and, huh? No, change the- change the- what, why is it doing this? Oh, whatever. Use. Wait, what am I doing? Of course you gotta go to the library. Wait. Oh, wait, no. Never mind, I do need to go out here. doing there playing golf it's not time for golf this is time for murder I mean escape well look who's up do you want to dug up half the lawn of course he was I was trying to dig my way out of this place the ground gets really solid two feet down and the wall foundations go even further well, that would explain the holes nearest the walls what about the others? Uh, all right, I was looking for treasure. Happy now? You want some kind of metal? It's professional interest, you understand. Any luck? With treasure? Nah. Found some kind of pipeline running under the lawn, but not too much else. 
What are you doing with that metal? Oh, it was a metal detector and not a golf club. That makes slightly more sense. Oh, Parker! What did you do? Okay, I have to lock the keyboard now. Um, control Alt L, I think it is. Okay, there we go. How do you know the tomb's there? I don't. That's what the metal detector's for. I don't think tombs have much metal. Uh, how do you know there's gonna be anything to detect? Probably all stone and dusty corpses. Actually, you'd be surprised how much metal can be found in a tomb. Belt buckles, coffin handles, candlesticks. Gold, silverware. You, you can't detect gold in a... with a metal detector. Listen, the tomb can be found on the other side of the grounds for all you know. At least I don't think you can. Don't they detect, like, iron and crap? Until I see some compelling evidence for this location, I'll continue my systematic sweep. He doesn't seem like the kind of person you'd say systematic. Do you know if AJ's turned up? Can I borrow your metal detector? What do you want it for? I'm not sure yet! <laughs> Convincing! Well, I'll give you a shot when I'm finished with it. Talk to the metal detector! Excuse me, would you sit down please? Please. Booby, please. If I find a way out, I'll, it'll be even better. I missed the thing. Would you just sit down? Do you have AJ's turned up yet? Would you sit? Would you? No! Just, just sit. Just sit. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, this is some kind of reality TV stunt. He must have been in on it. Maybe he's here to file reports on how all the hidden cameras are working. I honestly doubt this is the work of the BBC, Philip. They don't have this kind of budget. Do you have a better explanation? Not yet. Well then. I'm pretty sure anything is a better explanation. Fish with the metal detector yet? <laughs> I know I've been talking to you the entire time, but... Have you seen the others? I saw Jim, he's in the dining room. Taylor woman. Well, that was completely pointless, thank you. Talk to the wall, sure. I, I would not be surprised if talking to the wall did something. It won't answer me, okay. Talk to the window, though. Talk to the door. Talk to the tree again. I'm not that far gone. You, you, it was necessary before. I can't click the things. I can't click these. These, these are pointless. Would you please get your tail? His tail is like dangerously close to my water. Would you just sit? He's doing that weird half sitting thing that cats do. Like he's hunched down. He's not ready to commit to it yet. Oh wait, AJ's in the fridge. I gotta check the fridge. Ah, oh, never mind. Opening doors takes too long. I gave up. Well, obviously this is a spooky ghost. Or a house. Or a house ghost. That's the spookiest kind of ghost. When the entire house is the ghost. I think it's about time I ran up on the Defoe family. Did I seriously just pick up a freaking random book and it just happened to be the right one? Alright. History of the Defoe family, volume 7? Holy crap. Roderick Defoe, later Sir Roderick Defoe, probably the most famous of the lineage. When using inheritances, blah, the parents died. Colonial explorer. Died at the age of 40, blah, blah. Luxury manor in the English countryside. The couple moved in as soon as the work was complete. By all accounts, they're deliriously happy, Matthew. Oh yeah, sudden death, giving birth to their only son. More tragic. Roderick was in mourning for a long time, leading to the upbringing of Matthew in the hands of numerous nannies and tutors. Finally did start taking on the interest in his son. He was known to be bitterly disappointed as his son rejected the idea of joining the army for him to pursue art and literature. As Matthew neared the age of 15, however, his father grew closer, didn't see eye to eye, so didn't understand each other, and offered unconditional love. You know, they didn't see eye to eye, but there was still the unconditional love thing. Hey, Snow. <laughs> Curious blood. I think all adventure game protagonists are legally required to have c curious blood. A servant on two bloodstains in one of the rooms, but no bodies were found. Oh. They just disappeared and there was blood everywhere. 
Hooray. The fate of Sir Roderick and his wayward son remains a mystery to this day, and the first of many mysterious disappearances around connected to the Defoe line and the family house. Well, that's not concerning at all. Ooh, there's a skull. Give me the skull. Yes, sunbleached skull. My favorite variety of skull. I don't want the nasty thing. You have no taste, sir. Sunbleached is the most delicious, I mean, interesting of the, the skulls. Sunbleached skull probably placed here to add a gothic ambiance. Yes, quite. These books look like Mario. Bentley, somebody's doing a bit of research here. Uh, let's talk to you. Spooky noise. Ah, hello, Mr. Crowley. Do you know where the others are? Blah, blah, blah. AJ's still missing. Sleep well. To be honest, not really. I had this terrible dream. Someone to kill you, Jack, and Philip, and Jim. I remember a huge guy with a welding mask. Well, that's not suspicious at all. Took off the mask and he looked exactly like you. No. I actually look exactly like you. What does it mean? Oh. Frankly, I don't want to know. That's not concerning. Oops. I already did that one. How, did you break the lock on the door? No, I just came up here and it was like that. That's not suspicious. I suppose AJ must have done it. He must have been reading from that pile of books. Don't know exactly. How are you holding up? Oh, spare me the gallantry. I'm just fine. Uh, blah, blah, blah. He's kind of jumpy. What do you know about AJ? Not much. He refused to tell us anything about himself. That's not suspicious at all. Where he came from, why he came here. Not even his full name. That's suspicious, isn't it? I think he has some kind of agenda. Maybe he's really a Defoe. Of course, we're not one to come up. You're no one, bleh. You're no one to judge when it comes to withholding names. Heh. <laughs> uh, let's see ya. Well, that was fruitless. Oh wait, wait. Books, I need to read the books on the floor. Go up, door Trilby, please. Look. Someone's been doing a little research. Read the book, Trilby! Don't think there's a use for any of these books at the moment. <laughs> okay, the, the one book out of like 200 on the shelf, obviously, was very important to read, but... The big pile of open books on the floor. Nah. Nah! Alright, what do I do now? I need the yellow book, apparently. No, you need this one. The map is always handy. Okay, so we found a map. Uh, look. Article? Newspaper? Where's the map? Oh. Scroll buttons. It's a very old architectural plan of the Defoe Manor. There's a Defoe Manor with the underground tomb clearly marked as being under the front yard. That's not that. There's something here that doesn't quite belong. I don't recall seeing the house. Site of underground tomb, front yard, backyard, first floor. Uh, wait, is that the kitchen? That's the kitchen. All right, so that's the kitchen. That's the thing. Stairway up. Two, two, three, four, five. And there's stairs down in the kitchen, I think. Let's go look for those. I already played Hello Neighbor. I don't really like it. Um, but yeah, you can find, there's a video of me playing Hello Neighbor and you can probably see why I didn't like it uh, if you just watch that. They're really making a big marketing push for that. I see that thing everywhere. I guess it's a new big YouTube bait game, but I, I didn't like it. Totally Accurate Battle Simulator is more the kind of YouTube bait that I enjoy. If it doesn't make me laugh, it's not the kind of YouTube bait for me. Oh, hey, son. I'm not going to do anything with here with my bare hands. Um, use a stick. No, use the stick. U use, use, use stick. Oh, what do you mean it doesn't work? Obviously, you use the stick and the cord to, 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 to make a gapling, a gatling gun and shoot down the wall. Okay, I don't know. Let's go see if that asshole's done with the thing. 
what day are you? Uh, just day two. You didn't miss too much. I spent like 20 minutes going to the wrong side of the house and like waiting for... Like, scouring every pixel for a person, and now I'm just using a walkthrough. Because, you know, adventure games sometimes, yeah. Hey, Mr. Hardy. Don't you just moonwalk at me. You finished with the metal detector yet? Oh, come on. Wait, no, 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 I, sh you're not gonna find the tomb, Broheim. Here, here, have the map. Use, yes. So freaking picky. Like, I know the information to tell him, but I have to manually give him the map. The tomb is quite clearly under the front yard. So yeah, give me the metal detector, jerk butt. Sucks, doesn't it? I guess that's my escape plan out the window. Speaking of windows, just, just break the window. Like, cover your hand in some, like, you know, a towel or something. Smash it, you know? Take away my hopes. Might as well take away my only worldly possessions, too. Have fun with it. No, do excuse me. Alright, we took his only worldly possession, so I'm happy now. I, I don't usually do the Abyssrium questions when I'm streaming something that's not Abyssrium, but they're all in the guide. All the, the unlocks for all the fish are in the guide, so... Search or tap tap of Istrium, you'll find it. But you can't get the bunny shark, so spoilers. Um, wait, the thing. Metal. Let's detect some metal. That doesn't work. I don't know why I thought that would work. Come to think of it, is is AJ in the fridge? I bet he's in the fridge. Evidently, no one cares if I start. Okay. Uh, one of the yellow books, blah, blah, blah. Pipeline to track. Oh, okay. I see. All right, metal detector. No, use the metal. This is infuriating, okay. Use the metal detector on the pipe. Track where this pipeline leads with the metal detector. Blue, 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 blue. Trail ends here. Uh, use. Look, look in the hole, Trilby. What have we here? Philip's laborings must have covered it up. Panel. Spooky panel. Press the spooky button. Press it. Well, that didn't seem to do anything. Exciting! it twice. Uh, whatever. I'm sure they did something spooky. I don't I don't think it did the thing it was supposed to do. I think it, I think pressing it twice was dumb. <laughs> I don't know how this managed to completely silently drain the, the thing so that he didn't notice that it drained, but, uh, whatever. Oh! Christ! Oh, Christ. I guess that's AJ, isn't it? <laughs> they sp split his throat and threw him in the pool. This is definitely that man I met on the landing. Presumably AJ. This was someone tied up to an iron hook at the bottom of the pool. But he was dead before then. It's split open by a large edged weapon. God, the stench. I've got to find the others. Be glad there's no smell of vision with horror games, honestly, because scary stuff smells really bad. He was stabbed to death and tied to the bottom of the pool. Oh my god. You know what this means, don't you? We're the only ones in the house. The killer has to be one of us. Not necessarily. I don't think any of us could engineer. Shut up! It was you, wasn't it? You killed AJ, now you're covering your tracks. Philip, you're being absurd. Why would Trilby tell us where the body is if he wanted to hide it? That's just what they want you to think. 
He's covering his tracks. He was the last one to arrive, so don't tell me you're not a bit of a suspicious of him. Wouldn't the murderer be the first one to be there? Look, what happened to AJ was a terrible thing. If we let it tear us apart, we could all go the same way. He's got a point, Philip. Oh, I see. You're all in, you're in on this together. Philip. Shut up. As far as I'm concerned, there's no one I can trust anymore. He's the next one that's gonna die. From now on, it's every man for themselves. That always works great in horror films. Excuse me. He's shaken. We all are. So, what do you think? About AJ, I mean. I'm not really sure. I think we're being haunted. Oh. Well, at least somebody's keeping their head. <laughs> Look, I'm not exactly in love with such an unscientific idea as a murderous ghost. But nothing other than the supernatural could have engineered the situation. The house has a bad history. History? I think it's someone started looking into. AJ was looking into it and then he died though. Well, you do whatever you want. I'm going to look into AJ's death with a slightly more sensible attitude. I think it was the guy who talked about doors. I think he killed everybody to prevent people from looking at the doors. I'll go looking for him. I'm sure he's not murdered. Father? Jim? Jim, is that you? What are you doing, Father? F what? Father, no! No, no! Father! Father! Hold on. Dead. Dead. Father. Oh! Spooky! <laughs> we gotta stop falling asleep in this place. Day three! Oh yeah, I already did the door thing. Sorry, Mr. Trilby. You wanted me to wake you up? Did I? You remember yesterday? Well, you told me about AJ and then said we were, you were gonna look into the house. Then he asked me to wake you this morning so you could get started. <laughs> we only work for like 30 minutes and then we just go to sleep. We're the laziest paranormal investigators of all time. Like, I found somebody's body. I'm just gonna go to bed now. Seems like a good time to sleep. Did you see the painting? What, Mr. Hole in Face Man? Oh, he's not supposed to have a hole in his face? Wait a minute. Portrait of a wizened, bearded old man. That's not what it looked like. That's not what that looked like yesterday. I think. Yeah, that, that one was different. Other painting? Which other painting? I'm not even going to talk to that guy. The one in the room you wake up in? Oh, I'll take a look. But that, that painting is different, though. That other one. I mean, there's like a guy? Rather amateur landscape. Yeah, it looks... Unless it's like a spook to be a spooky dude there. But no. Is it like, is that the spook that there's a dude there? Oh! Okay, it was. This is spooky, dude. Okay. But, so the paintings change. Wait, let me try the TV on. Once you try to open a door, you are committed to it. Take the tiger head. This is more like car boot sale material. What? What is a car boot sale? You British people. And your words. This morning. In other news, Michael Chasm, solicitor of the Defoe Estates, was found dead this morning in his office. Hooray! Mr. Chisham was found to have hanged himself, and a ruling of suicide has already been declared. Oh, that's not suspicious at all. Latest in a stirring of deaths and disappearances connected to the mysterious Defoe Manor. We have the worst police in the world here. A stream which began with the murder-suicide of Sir Clarence Defoe and his young wife and has been more recently the disappearance of BBC reporter Simone Taylor. Police were hoping to acquire the key to Defoe Manor in order to investigate, but the location of the key was only known by Mr. Chisham himself. Dun dun dun. Numerous television stars have already come forward to pay tribute to Mrs. Taylor. It becomes increasingly apparent that... 
disappeared. Well, he tells me that it wouldn't there wouldn't be that much coverage if there wasn't a celebrity involved. I mean, there are multiple murders in like a spooky house, so. I guess we missed one of the TV things. I'm surprised Trilby didn't comment on the thing that it changed, but. We've seen one potentially missable spook, so that's nice. And it's just the house settling, I guess. Old houses do do that. Leave me alone, cat burglar. What are you doing? None of your business. Those maps of the house? Sigh. Yes, they're maps. I'm gonna find a way out. Then I'm gonna get away from this madhouse once and for all. Just break the windows. It's not that hard. If I ever see your smug, pinstripe-wearing face again, it'll be a million years too soon. Feeling any better this morning? No, I'm just peaches. Now go away. Come on, Phil. No one of us could have possibly killed AJ. You want to bet? You're over six foot. You could have done it easily. Maybe I could have, but I didn't. Well, that's convincing. Prove it. You know, I can't. Well then. You know, your attitude could be the death of us. There's always one of you. But it's okay. He'll die before... Before the girl does. The girl's always, like, second to last. Uh, catch you later, jerk ass. I just tried to talk to the door again. Mm. By the way, anybody getting um, any kind of issues, like buffering issues too much? It is getting buffering for me, but I don't actually care about, like, I don't need to watch my own stream as long as things are fine. Um, is there a head in the cooker yet? Wait, wait, wait. Do, do, do Brits really call ovens cookers? Use, use the sink. Wash your hands, you're dirty, you're a dirty boy. I'm a dirty boy, it's time to play the piano. Why is there a car? I just found it out here like this. Do you know whose it is? The car is the murderer. It's like that Stephen King novel. Did you just bring it in here last night or something? Of course not. It was in the front yard. There's no way to into the front yard. Maybe somebody's trying to help us. With a car? I'll go and find the others and let you know them. Sure. He walks funny. Oh, let's look at the car. It's definitely my car. How it got in here is something I certainly can't explain. Okay. Great! My lockpicks are here. Must have fallen on my pocket while I was getting out of the car. <laughs> what an effective thief you are! I hired an emergency pick in the lining of my tire like they, like I usually do. Oh, tie, not tire. Wait, you, you forgot your emergency pick as well. Amazing. Nothing else in the car, and at which point in driving it with nowhere to drive to. Drive it through the wall. Sacrifice yourself for the good of everyone else. Alright, let's pick the lock on this thing. Call the stove a cooker just like we could... In the oven, we just call say oven? Uh. Door's already unlocked. Alright. I'm sure there's nothing murderous in the murder shed. I mean the regular shed. Okay, pickaxe. Regular thing to have in your shed. Ooh, a saw. I expected him to be a smartass and be like, I can't take that with me, it's too heavy. <laughs> that is a big saw to just stuff in your inventory, too. It's a well-polished old two-man... Yeah, it's a two-man saw. How did you even... All right, open the cupboard. Oh, I said open it. No, open... Just look inside it when you do open it. Oh, man, I love these games sometimes. The cupboard is bare. That was pointful. An empty workbench is like an empty mind. That was pointful. Alright, can I saw- let's saw the tree. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Saw the tree. This is not a one-man job. Saw the car! Oh. Well, let's pickaxe the, the creepy wall. 
Alright, it's gonna be, get ready, there's gonna be spooks. It's gonna be some spooks. Yeah, break the wall. Knock, knock. <laughs> He's hardcore. Alright. What's in the thing? Oh! Some spooky shackles! Aw, oh, there's some ambient music. Good. The quietness of the game is getting to me. Cut down the tree so you never have to speak to it again. Thank you. Are these medicals? What the hell was this room used for? What are people's thoughts about the chat, by the way? I kind of put it that way because there's like some space, but it's kind of too much. I might just, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this weird aspect ratio situation. I think I'm gonna shrink chat up a bit though. Let's put, let's put more like, uh, oh right, I, I locked the keyboard. Uh, something like that. That? <laughs> Why did it load that image? What? That was weird. Um. <laughs> Why did it load that image? <laughs> that was a spook. That was that was the game spooking us. Let me put it. I'm gonna put it down there so it doesn't interfere with the text as much. Hopefully. <laughs> that was relevant. Oddly relevant. Do you have nothing to say about this situation, Trilby? These manacles, what the hell is this? That's all you have to say? This is a freaking spooky murder room, and you're just like, yeah, this is a little unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it's not my problem. He just doesn't care. There's spooky manacles in the spooky basement. And he's just like, yeah. I don't even know where that image is. I think I... I think that's because I had that image, like, loaded in, but I last used that image a long time ago. Let's try the phone. Hello, operator. Um. Oh, right, I can do stuff upstairs, because the, the locks. Okay. I'm so glad the game got spooky enough to put the music back in. I think it did it. It still won't open. Must be a deadbolt on the other side or something. There we go. Unlocked. Okay. Let me just double check the bathroom. Oh, nope. No spooks. The bathroom is a very good place to find spooks. And keys and toilets. Whoa. Holy red, Batman. Why did you open only the one side? There's nothing in the wardrobe but that little book. I can't even see the little book because of you, Trilby. Look at the book. Going on the front cover is the Diary of Sir Roderick Defoe. Circa the early 19th century. Well, that is a convenient find. No, don't close the, the Trilby. Trilby. Oh, I sure do love hunting me some pixels. Right, not even gonna read it. Okay, thanks. Make me read it. Jerk. Diary of Sir Roderick Defoe. I'm sure I'm not suspicious carrying around a pickaxe and a two-man saw at all times, by the way. Just kind of lugging these around. March 15th, 1805. Work on the house has been going well. Should be completed by the end of July. Belinda is already excited about the forthcoming wedding and spends many hours of the day going over here the smallest details over and over again. Not since our early courtship has been so, she been so giddy with joy. It softens my heart to see her smile, and she smiles often. I'm wondering, I'm wondering why I didn't retire sooner. August 12th. Only now am I having the opportunity to write this, as I have been Parker. I can't see. Would you, would you cease? Just sit. It's okay that I just have a sit. He's got a stretch. I can read it in the preview. Um, most hectic day. The wedding has went without a hitch and the house was ready for us to move in as soon as the ceremony was over. That's a fortuitous timer. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine this is two-person axe and pickaxe. 
are heavier than a freaking gun? Like, that is... Like, is it made out of lead? Like, did they make the, the, the bullets out of iron and the gun out of lead? Or... How did that... How did this happen? Belinda insisted on consume, consummating our marriage immediately. I'm sure, dear diary, this house can expect to hear the laughter of children before 1806 is out. Oh my. A romantic day for our announcement. The physician has just left, conferring that Belinda is with child. A child beginning to expect to be born in June. We have already decided to name the child Matthew if it's a boy or Jane of a girl. Belinda is dead. <laughs> Amazing. Belinda is dead. I will never forget her face. Ash Gray contorted with pain. The child is healthy. Would, would that it had never come and spared me this fresh hell. Matthew showed me the painting of the grounds he had created. I worry about the boy. Why can't he be having healthy interests like soldiering? The painting was fair, I suppose, but I would rather have my child be less of a weakling. Oh shit, the paintings. It's Matthew who's gonna kill us. He does the paintings. Anniversary of the night I unleashed a horror, a horror which tonight I shall remove from this world. May God forgive me. That's the last entry. So did he kill him or lock him in the O? Hello, fresh blood. Funny, there seems to be some little scratches on the wall, just under the window. Oh, it's not blood. Use the window. What'd you know? It, it opened. Of course, since it outlooks the backyard, this doesn't help me much. Oh, there's a loose tile. Get, get on the tree. Doesn't look like it would support my weight. Uh, use the saw as a bridge. Hit it with the saw. No? 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 Use, use the grappling thinger. Well, I'm sure it would be highly amusing to grolly across the gap and slam heavily into the tree trunk. It would not be a great help. No, I mean grab the thing with it, you stupid... that particular era I could oh. use the stick give him the stick don't give him the stick use the cord let me read the guide uh, let me read. what Teddy Use the growly on the- wait, 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 what? It says use the growly on the loose tile. What? Use the one to open the room, use it. What? What do you mean? Go to the f go to the window! Cut down the tree? The tree does not look in the way, but okay. Nightstand. Let's look at the nightstand and stuff. Empty. Let's take a nap in this bed. I'm sure it's not haunted. I'm sure this is the least haunted bed in this whole house. Not sure I'd feel right sleeping in a dead man's old bed. It's not like you killed him. Alright, somebody help me cut down this friggin' tree. Oh, Trilby. Why are you so bad at stairs, Trilby? They're not hard. They're really not. Alright. Alright, who wants to help me cut down a tree? Oh, spook painting. Nobody? I bet he still won't get the gun. Alright, asshole. Help me cut down the tree. Because obviously you're not an asshole and will help me. Can I just saw you? Here, just saw. Saw Philip. I may, I may need it! I may need it is his response to me attempting to saw Philip. He's like, nah, I might need that. Let's not saw that. 
I might need it. Hello, Philip. Leave me alone. Have you seen the others? Okay. Okay. I don't even get. I don't even get the option to discuss it. I just try to talk to a door again. Well, let's go to the library, I guess. Using use works on the stairs from below. Ah, oh, hello, Jim. Uh, Jim, Jim, I need to cut down a thing. You see this development small? What do you think we should do next? I think we should do as much research in the house. No, I think we should cut down a tree. Because of adventure logic reasons. Right, in the house, the dining room, shouting at everyone who comes in. And Ms. Taylor said she was investigating AJ. Oh! She's in the pool, I guess. I think we should do it next. Let me see if I want to help, I'm not sure what we can do. Do you want to tag along with me? Sure. Promise not to get in the way. Alright. Let's chop down the thing. I'm sure this will not go wrong. Trilby! Trilby! Oh, you can use it without the walk thing. Okay. You just have to get the right pixel. Do you want to maybe... Hey, hey. Do you want to maybe see the spook room? Let's see the spook room together, AJ. Oh, wait, AJ's dead. Wh who are you again? Philip. Mr. Shelby, I don't like the feel of this place. I'll go wait for you in the library. Oh, you freaking jerk! Just wait for me outside the room! Oh my god. Why would you go all the way back? I swear this game hates me at some time. It's just like, you know what? You did the wrong thing. So I'm gonna send you back like eight screens. Because that's not the exact thing that I wanted you to do. So obviously, you know, I'm gonna have to waste, you know, five more minutes of your time. I sure do enjoy redoing the last five minutes because I did something slightly wrong. Like go into a room. Uh. What a response. It's like, I don't like this room. I'm just gonna go back to the second floor. Everybody cut down this tree. I hope you have some, like, what fun. Pushing the tree makes the upper branches sway a little. What fun. Alright, let's saw this thing. No, no, let's saw this thing, I said. Okay. Jim, give me a hand with this. Okay, it's Jim. Cutscene. Beautiful animation. Bonk. Not even a sound, just just vibrations. Did we cut the tree down, Mr. Trilby? I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, no, it makes me feel better. Oh, I said why. I saw it. I saw the gym. Oh, that doesn't work. No, that's not what I wanted to do. You better not run away again, Jim. Jim? Yes? Talk to Simone, I guess. No, 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 no. I think Simone is in here for some reason. Just like, oh yes, I need to see AJ's body for non-disclosed reasons. What are you doing down there, Mr. Trilby? Are uh, you? F <laughs> Why don't you just sit out here and wait for me, in the place where I happen to need you? You know, game design. How's the ghost hunt going? Did you know where the other- wait, no, I know where the others are. Someone brought my car into the backyard. Yes, I noticed. It's your car, is it? Did you bring it here? I have no idea where it came from or how. I'm just glad to see a bit more color about the place. I see. Uh, 
I don't have time to be shaken about AJ, damn it. What is this, like a medical drama? I can't let the situation about me affect my personality. Damn it, Jim. We need 50 cc's of cardizone stat. Sit on the tree. Sit on the stump. You know. Damn it, Jim. Hey, Philip. Thanks for not helping, asshole. I can't wait until he dies next. He's definitely gonna die next. Maybe AJ or no, AJ's dead. The Philip. All right, that's the that's the not door. This one. Hello, time gun. It's a heck of a name. That that really looks like blood, not scratches, but. We'll split the difference. Alright, now we can do the thing. That tree did not look like it was in the way. I object to that being considered in the way. Alright. Bloop! <laughs> the, 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 that would not have been in the way. Whatever. I, I look like a giant. Well, I guess I am over six feet, so... Pretty big, but... Oh! A teddy bear! Like, a murdered child's teddy bear. That seems like a good thing to take. Not fair. No, take the teddy bear, you idiot. Not, not the bed. The oh man, I sure do love pixels. They're, they're so good. All right. Why the hell not? <laughs> That's fine. Don't take the gun, but take the teddy bear. You're gonna need that, obviously. Obviously, it's an adventure game, so we're gonna need to take the leg off the teddy bear and attach it to a length of twine and throw it over the wall and then we're gonna fish out a bear and the bear is gonna open a can of preserves which we use to uh, open the, the secret basement. Easel. Artist easel with a blank canvas. How philosophical. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, empty. Nightstand. Rather, it's just a nightstand. Single bed. Maybe this room has been left to spare or something. What's, let's see what's creepy about the teddy bear. It's a very old Victorian era stuffed bear. So obviously we use the, the, the teddy bear with the pickaxe to create the ultimate weapon. Okay, maybe not. Let's just leave here. Look at everything in the room. Diary somewhere? I did. Oh, did I open the nightstand? the bed maybe are you sure you don't mean the diary in the other room because I already got that I don't think there's anything in here seeing some serious adventure logic here in the walkthrough, so let me try something incredibly stupid. Oh my god, Trilby. Oh, I never looked in these, did I? Salt! It's a bit to carry around with me. If I ever need lethal quantities of salt, I'll know where to look. Nothing. That doesn't work. What do you mean? Okay, I need to read all of the things, I think. So... Did I miss reading one of these or something? Look. 
Oh, I didn't read Matthew's diary. Oh, okay. Today is my eighth birthday. Nanny and, and I would like, would I, bleh. Nanny said I would soon be a big, strong man like my father. I wanted to see him today, but he wouldn't come out of his study all day. Nanny says he always gets cross on this day, but it's not because of me. It's not because I killed mom or anything, Baka. I found a new friend. He's behind the door in the kitchen and he doesn't have a name. He likes to sit and talk to him. He likes me to sit and talk to him. My father gets very angry when he finds me doing this. So he found okay, so the the thing in the in the, the spook room is not Matthew. I asked father who the boy behind the door was, but he told me there was no boy bo behind the door. It was just a silly fantasy. I showed father the painting I just finished. He said it was quite good, which is the best thing I, he has ever said. While he was in a good mood, I asked him if I could go and look behind the door in the kitchen. He pretended not to hear me. My father has done a terrible thing. All this time he pretended there was no boy behind the door. And now this, there's blood all over the kitchen floor. I will do what I can, and then we'll be a family together and be happy. That's where it ends. Except there's a little ink blot just behind, just underneath the text. I think we already read that one. Did I look at the teddy bear? Yes, I did. Article, plan. I already saw that. No, no read the. <sighs> read the article. Cut out article. Mystery to Foe Manor. Notorious. Okay, one <clears throat> country's more notorious stately homes is renowned for being a great source of untold wealth. What is the curse that surrounds the Creaking House? Mansion built in the early 19th century by the legendary explorer Roderick Defoe in celebration of retirement and marriage. Disappeared with his only son, a mysterious death. Lost heir that was thought to have died, blah blah blah. Read more than enough here than an idea of what's going on here. If there's a ghost in this place, there must be some kind of connection to the disappearance, blah blah blah. Is Matthew schizophrenic or something? See, Roderick killed him and disappointed, disappeared to avoid the law. It's odd that neither of the bodies were ever found. If I find Matthew's body, perhaps I could get to the bottom of this. Maybe there's a book or something in the library that could help me. I see. So it's back to library time. Oh, they both end on the same date? Oh, I didn't notice that. Let me take a look. Yep, June 28th. They were having a good day, and then they died. Oh, hey, music. I'm so glad the music is happening in general, because, like, it was horrible silence for, like, an hour before. Alright. Obviously, there'll be new book that we can read now. Books. <laughs> a complete unabridged Oxford Dictionary. It's only a cult. It's a book on simple white magic here. That sounds relevant. We're gonna be we're gonna be a white mage. It's gonna help us. Why not? I can certainly do it with a laugh. It's a book on white magic. Finding a person from their possession. Tie the possession and the question to a stick and dip it in salt. Next, wave it over the place where the subject sleeps. When you hold it in front of you, the object should now indicate what direction the owner lies. That's me, Trilby. Okay. Well, we found the salt. But it's working too. Yeah, yeah, after last time, I could use a game that works. I do have plenty of RPG Maker horror games, though, so... Uh, I'm streaming again tomorrow, by the way, same, starting the same times. Same early and extra long stream. Uh, I'm gonna start with Missio, which is kind of a... It's by the same person as Madfather. It's not really a sequel, but it kind of is in the same universe. And, uh... Yeah, that should be fun. And I've got some other stuff that I can definitely play. That doesn't work. 
tie it to a stick. So now we go together. Wait, did I do something? Okay. Cord plus stick, teddy bear. It's a teddy bear tied to a stick with this piece of extension cord. Dip it in salt for that extra flavor. It's a salty teddy bear. If it's not working properly, it's pointing straight downwards. Uh, all right, let's hang it over Kitty Boy's bed. I'm so glad that nobody is, like, questioning why I'm doing these completely insane things or why I have a giant two-man saw and a pickaxe. Everyone's just like, yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna leave the most suspicious person here alone. Oh my god, I hate this menu. Downwards. Uh, use door. All right, so it's downstairs. Get, 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 get away. Okay. Seems to be indicating to my left. Okay. It's in the spooky room. I mean, obviously we know it's in the spooky room. We've heard the house settling quite a few times. I mean, we know what's in the spooky room. Look. It's in the southeast. In the southeast! So it is in this room. Okay, south. West. East. You could just say right. Like, come on, man. Southeast. Oh my, come on, man. North East. Oh. Oh. oh, man. I sure do enjoy some pixels. Can I just... No? I really have to use the menu every time. Matthew Defoe, I presume. Sir Roderick, keep him down here? No, it could, can't have done. That had been mentioned in this in one of the books I read. So... Well, I don't think that's Matthew's hand. There's another corpse down there. Looks like the body of a much older man. I have a feeling this is Sir Roderick. Judging by the ribs, he was killed by a large stabbing weapon. By whom? Smash! What was that? It's like it came from one of the other side of the house. Well, somebody's dead, so that's nice. Matthew Defoe cut cruelly in his prime by something. Probably never stood a chance. Can, 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 can I just, can I take pieces? It's never wise to disturb the sleep of the dead. Or is it? Oh, whatever. Now go up the thing.
Please be dead, Philip. Ah, oh, no, it's not Philip. Crap. I bet it's the, I bet it's the kid. Leave me alone, cat burglar. Ugh, shut up. Of course he's alive. I should save soon. I keep forgetting there is a save system. Let me save. Um, spook. Spook. Spook you. I bet it's library kid. Because... Why is he so much quieter here? Dead. Oh. There's a spooky shadow on that chair, though. Look at the spooky shadow. You okay, buddy? Jim? Yes. Look how close I'm talking to him! I'm just like, yes, hello. Do you to tag along with me? Sure. Promise not to get in the way. I didn't really mean to do that, but... A room with a moose! Okay, I'll check the room with the moose. Maybe Invader Zim is killing somebody in there. Nothing here. Oh, the thing broke. Nobody was dead after all. The bell jar has been knocked over and smashed, so the idol is undamaged. Let's just take it. That seems like a good idea. You should always, after practicing some white magic, you should always take a spooky idol. I'll find a dustpan and a brush or something. Who cares? Just leave it. Uh-oh. And now I'm alone in the room. It's a really horrendously ugly little wooden idol. Hang on. What are these little stains? Day four. Oh, bad thing. It was me all along. Oh! Dead. Father, why? Oh. Hello. Oh god, my head. What? What the hell happened last night? I remember. Oh god, Philip. Oh hey, I was right! Philip's dead! Hooray! I don't remember anything. The last thing I remember is putting my hand on. Oh, the idol did it. That idol. I've got to warn the others. Never mind the fact that I'm like... Oh, there's a bar in the window. It's stuck shut. What are you doing? What are you doing? Weirdo. Uh, door. God knows where they found the key. <laughs> okay. Do I have my awe? <laughs> they left me the teddy bear and the book on white magic. Why did they leave me with these? I don't want the spooky dead kid teddy bear. Uh, talk. Hello? Anybody out there? Quiet. Simone? Yes, I'm keeping guard. Why? Shut up! You killed Philip. Maybe. Maybe. I did? Don't play games with me. I'm keeping guard so the police get to the grounds. Then I'm handing you over. Is this kind of fuzzy, by the way? I wonder if there's a... Can I... Is there a way to pick some perfect scale things in OBS? Because this kind of looks a little blurry. I mean, it's going to go through... Filters? Scaling aspect ratio. By cubic. No, point. Resolution. Okay, that. Hmm. It's not quite what I meant to do. Um. Fit to screen. That's all stretched. Why is it stretched? The pixels do look better, but it's stretched now. Filters. Resolution. Oh crap, I don't think I can do this because I don't know what ridiculous aspect ratio it is. Wait, let me try... Parker, what are you doing? Why are you 
480p times two. What? No, just God damn it. Um. Ugh. All right, so 960 by. Up. Oh, that is not. Wait, what the hell? 960 and. 640. No. Close. Okay, okay. That looks much better. <laughs> the need for Parker Cam is real. I would I'd love to be able to provide Parker Cam. He's nowhere near the um thing though. I can't tell where the top of the screen is now though. No diagonal. I don't think that looks better. I think that no, because the moment I have to skew it, oh, god damn it, that was a waste of time. Um, put this right there. Does anybody know how to force it to scale by point instead of uh, by linear and crap? Downscale filtering. Scale filtering. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, that's better. All right. Sorry about all that. Um, talk. We can talk our way out of this. But yeah, Parker's not even in the area that I would be able to record him, unfortunately. What makes you think I killed Philip anyway? Oh, well, let me see. First, Jim and I are attacked by some huge guy in a welding mask and an apron with a machete. We managed to get away. Then we come into the kitchen and find a huge guy in a welding mask and an apron unconscious next to Philip's corpse. I don't see how I'm, I'm involved in the situation. Then we took the mask off and lo and behold, it's you. Look, you got it all wrong. I just touched a spooky idol. Let's hear your version. The real killer tricked me. I was possessed by the ghost. Philip tried to kill me first. Obviously, if I tell them I was possessed by the ghost, legally, you can't hold somebody who got possessed by a ghost. So, I was possessed by the ghost. Now that impresses me. Did you think of that all by yourself? It's the truth, I swear. Shut up. Just shut up. Go and touch the idol in the trophy room. Okay, that's dangerous. But I'm going to do that. Go touch the idol in the trophy room and you'll see I'm not lying. What a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Go and check some stupid idol, leaving you conveniently unguarded. Maybe I'll save that for plan V. Aw, oh, you suck. The filter does... It's not quite perfect, though, the filter. Like, it... Do you see the weirdness on the on the thing, the frame of the thing? I don't know. I guess maybe I can't expect perfect scaling for pixel art to weird. Like, because this is some weird ratio stuff. Scale filtering. Lenkozos. Hmm. Maybe that is a bit better by cubic. I think that maybe looks about as bad, as good as I can expect. Okay, yeah, that's definitely worse. What do you think between... Okay, this is Lancozos, and this is by Cubic. I think by Cubic looks the best. I shouldn't worry about this. I, I'm glad I learned that, though. I never, I didn't know you could change that. I'll have to keep an eye out on that for later pixel art stuff. Simone, what do you want now? What have you done with my tie? It was Jim's idea. 
We took it off of you so you couldn't hang yourself. Aww. What? Why wouldn't you want me to hang myself if I'm such a cold-blooded killer? Jim seems to think there might be some way you might be innocent. Boy, really admired you, you know. I am filled with shame. I'm sure. Aren't I already talking to myself? Simone. What do you want now? Uh, you're making a terrible stenank! Can't tell the difference. Yeah, I guess after YouTube compression you might not, but I don't know. It looks better in my preview at least. By the way, if I did this right, does it say that I'm streaming at 1080p? It does not. Crap. I, I thought I was going to stream at 1080p today. Not that it's going to make a great deal of difference because it's a pixel art game, but... Oh. Oh, I rescale output for the... Oh, crap. But I can stream to uh, 1080p now that I... Um... There's a little pixel here. Wait, do you not see my mouse? Oh, there we go. Oh, the pixel was the mouse cursor. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Um, I streamed to 1080p, but it's going to it's rescaling it to 720p. So that's probably why it looks worse for you. Crap. But I used to not be able to stream to 1080p, but if if I'm doing it straight to YouTube, I can now. But uh, well, I messed it up. But yeah, live streams. What can you do? The real killer still on the loop. <laughs> you ever watched a horror movie? It's never the first guy. There's always someone who gets wrongfully accused of the killings. And whoever does the accusing is designed, destined to be horribly murdered next. The hell kind of fantasy world are you living in? You're the killer. That's a proven fact. There's no way of denying it. Also, where did she get the crowbar she hit me, th me with? And how am I, like, alive? After being hit with a crowbar? There should be some, like, bleeding, at, at the very least. Uh, where's Jim? Why do you want to know? So you can track him down and kill him? Yes. Uh, if you left him alone, he's already dead. Shut up. Real killer's still out there. He can be creeping up on you as we speak. I said shut up. Great. Uh, make a terrible mistake. Police will never get in here. The house will only let in people in one by one. And even if an officer gets inside, they can't leave. You shut up about your stupid haunted house theory. I think it's a pretty smart haunted house theory. <laughs> Rude. One solid battering ram to the front door and they get in. Oh, sure, sure they will. Uh, what are you done with my tie? Maybe I can convince her t t to give me my tie. Where's Jim? Uh, he knows that I'm innocent, does he? You almost hacked him to pieces with a machete. Well, there is that, but, you know, domestic disputes and so on. Ah, crap. Uh, where's Jim? You can be in terrible danger, I know. Until the police are handcuffed. Give me my tie. Make a terrible mistake. Uh, I real color's still on the loose. Suppose they knocked you out, dressed you up in their clothes, put the machete in your hand, and cleverly hid while you, we discovered you. Yeah, seems reasonable. Oh, please. Uh... The real killer tricked me! He put me on his mask and his apron. And he attacked me in his gray pinstripe suit. Hmm. I suppose you lent it to him for the weekend? Well, I am a public flasher, so... Uh... Dialogue trees. Philip tried to kill me first! Oh, I see. You killed Philip in self-defense. Suppose when you burst into the living room swung the machete at Jim and me, you were just trying to swat a fly or something. Well, flies are jerks. Forget it. Um, can I talk to the workbench? No. Have, have the teddy bear. Simone, this teddy bear is so cute it will convince you of my innocence. 
Okay, maybe not. All right, it's 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 walk through time. Um. Oh, wait. Simone, what do you want? Uh, this makes me think I killed Philip, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I was possessed by a spooky ghost. Uh, oh, right. Dial we haven't finished this dialogue tree. Don't touch the idol. Go have a look in the basement. Yeah, go have a look in the basement. There's two corpses down there, Roderick and Matthew Defoe. Look through the books I was carrying. There's a ghost here, I swear. Be I'm not going to let you drag me into your lunatic fantasy. Just keep your mouth shut. Oh, come on. You know you want to get dragged into my lunatic fantasy. Alright. There's a spooky ghost. Shut up. It possessed me just like it did when I killed AJ. It possessed me... Uh, what are you talking about just now? The ghost. It talked to me late at night when no one else can hear. Trying to make me do things, evil things. Shut up. It never leaves me alone. I can't sleep. Then I have the blackouts. I'll wake up with blood all over me in an unfamiliar place. It's happened so many times now I can't count them. Shut up. Kill AJ, kill Philip, kill everyone. It won't leave me alone. That's a spooky ghost voice. I'm warning you. I'm talking to me right now. Delirious with guilt most of the time. Think you can get rid of the voice with your help. Give me the tie. My help? If you'll just let me out of here, you can help me exercise it. Probably some stuff in the library about... No way. You really think I'm stupid? There's no ghost, it's just you. Ah, you and your insanity. The sooner the police can hear, the better. Oh, come on. Oh, d dialogue tree hell. Why? Why well, makes you think I killed Philip? Okay, we're getting somewhere though. Blah blah, blah. spooky ghost. Blackout. Blah blah blah. Um, I'm delirious with guilt most of the time. I can see the face of every poor innocent I've killed every time I close my eyes. Most evenings I cry so hard I vomit several times. If death came right now, I'd welcome it. Oh, God. Simone, let me have my tie back. Your tie? Please? Oh, to hell with it. Yes, give me the tie. Have it, you psycho. Yes, give me the tie. I'll just slip it on. And there's my emergency lockpick. See? This demonstrates the importance of forethought. All right. There we go, unlocked. I'm sure she won't react poorly to me coming out. Good idea. All right, let's just use the door. The dialogue tree, what? You were here three seconds ago. Well, I guess she did expect me to hang myself. So did I kill AJ? Hi AJ, sorry if I killed you. Not a good time to disturb the dead. What's up, buddy? It won't answer me. Okay, fair enough. Oops. Poor mysterious AJ. We hardly knew you. I never even got to talk to you, but I did apparently kill you. Possibly. At least the guy I hated is dead, so that's cool. Let's use his corpse. I'd rather not touch him. What's up, buddy? It's Philip. Someone is running through with a machete. Worst part of it all is that problem was probably me. Anything spooky in here? Nah. It's not more spooky than usual. Portrait of a skeleton with a bloodstained safari suit. Black says Sir Roderick Defoe. Well, at least he notices it. Is it 
Meh. Notices it now. Take it with you. It's not a bad omen or anything. I don't want it. It kind of freaks me out. What about that freaks you out? Come on, man. I'm probably not gonna get hit in the back of the head with a crowbar by Simone by walking around here, so... Let's just touch that idol again. Surely if I kill everybody else, I'll get to leave. It's like Survivor. They kill each other in Survivor, right? Looks like someone's been doing a little tidying up. Let's just touch this again. Seems like a good idea. Haha, <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, I like the convincing her to give you the tie back. I figured one of the other options let me do that, actually. Oh, the TV? Sure. Defoe Manor, the luxurious country home for a respectable aristocratic family. Or the eerie home of a dark, ineffable secret. Why have so many people disappeared around the manor? What did happen to Sir Roderick Defoe and his teenage son? Is there really some kind of ghostly horror lurking in the basement? All this and more in the haunting of Defoe Manor. Tonight at 9, only on BBC2. Nat. And then static. Such a shame we don't get to see it. Well, let's start the door. Psst. Nope. Piece together all the final bits from the TV, it spells a sentence. Oh, neat. I'll check that out after we beat the game, I guess, because I assume it's major spoilerinos. Plus, we missed one in this stream, I think. I think I missed the second day. Hmm. Once again, I'm finding the exact last place to check. No one in here either. Hell is everyone? Uh oh. Please, please no killies. Simone, before you say anything, I know you didn't really kill Philip or AJ. You do? Because you killed them? I figured you were lying to get me away from the shed. I saw him again. Who? The killer. The guy in the welding mask. I spotted him downstairs, but he didn't see me. Oh, that's good. I can't find Jim anywhere. Jim touched the idol. Simone, you have to listen to me. The ghost. Oh, shut up about your ghost. This isn't a ghost, it's a regular flesh and blood psycho. Uh-oh. Speak of the devil. You only kill one person at a time, right? Uh, do you want it? Do you want your teddy bear? What do you mean you may need it? You're about to be murdered, you idiot. I may need it. Uh, I want to throw it. Freaking stab him with the thing. What do you mean you may need it? You're about to be murdered. You, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. Get, oh, there we go. Hey, AJ. Jim. I may need it. I don't want to hear. Oh my God. How is he? He's awake. He's fine. Doesn't remember anything. Just like I didn't. Look, I only sort of halfway believe this possession thing right now. In the absence of a better suggestion, I, I'm going along with it. I guess that's why the rug was there. Have you seen anything? Have you been going over the books I was carrying? Yes, and some text on the occult. Apparently, if we want to destroy this thing, we have to get the spirit back to its old body. We didn't find the old body, though. That'll make it quasi-mortal. Not related to Quasimodo. We have to find the body first. To do that, we have to know who, who the ghost is. I've been thinking about this, and I have a fairly workable theory. Yes, I have a couple, a couple ideas about it myself. All right, well, the ghost has something to do with the disappearance of Roderick and William Defoe, right? 
guess the disappearances all start started after that. Agreed. So what do you think? Um. That's that's not that one. Uh, I think Sir Roderick had more than one son. I think Sir Roderick had more than one son. Yes! Because of what I read in Sir Roderick's diary. Exactly. Make references to some monster he helped create, and he doesn't mean Matthew. I kind of figured he just did mean Matthew, but... Matthew talks about another boy in the house. But, but if they... Hmm. The menaces indicate the son wasn't kept imprisoned in the basement. Where do you think this other son came from? I want to hear what you think first. <laughs> Father to love child while in Africa. Fair. Twins? I think he gave birth to twins. I agree with that. I think Belinda's death certificate. She died about 20 minutes after William was already... Out. Matthew's already out. Oh. I think it was the second son that did, did her in. Sir Roderick went practically insane with grief. Blamed the poor kid for her death, kept him locked in the basement, refused to even acknowledge his existence. Why'd you feed him then? Can you imagine what that must have been like for the boy? Growing up in a filthy grotto like some kind of animal, given no education, no love. The boy would be completely retarded and insane. It wouldn't even tell the difference between one person and another. That's why he kills everyone who enters the house. He thinks they're all Sir Roderick, come to torment him some more. What happened at all? But what happened on the day 15 years later when Sir Roderick and Matthew disappeared? He found the corpse in the basement, so obviously they were murdered. Question is how and why. Hey, obscure. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Uh, maybe someone found out about it and killed Sir Sympathy, obviously, the other boy managed to escape in the basement. Sir Roderick uh, tried to kill him. Uh, that seems plausible. Yes. Remember in Sir Roderick's diary in the last entry? He seemed happy, so... Talks about destroying the monster. He must have gotten really drunk, and being the entry of Belinda's death didn't help. He went down the basement and beat the poor kid to death. That's why I was so happy. Half to death. Matthew found the body afterwards and tried to bandage him up. Matthew wasn't the tarpest tool in the, bo tool in the box. His brother lived on for a bit longer. Long enough to get a mask and a machete to kill both his father and Matthew. He must have just died of his wounds. Jesus. And now we're going to try to destroy his ghost? None of anything that happened to him is his own fault. What little mind he had is no more. Now all he has is hate. If we don't kill him, he'll kill us all. There's no reasoning with him. I mean, he's also a ghost. I suppose you're right. Like, don't, don't feel sorry for Ghost and, like, not try to kill Ghost. Like, already dead for one thing. But I want to figure out how to bring his soul back to him and destroy him. <laughs> Does sound a little bit rude when you put it like that, but... Well, let me know if I can be of any help. <laughs> She's taking this pretty well. Yeah, I'm just gonna figure I'm gonna put him in a quasi-mortal temporary body and kill his spirit. Yeah, it sounds good to me. I'll be downstairs. Gonna make a coffee. You know, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee, right? <laughs> anyway. Uh, you got any books? Black magic, okay. Let's get the book on black magic then. No, get, get, get book. There's also something about summoning angry spirits in here. Oh yeah, there, there is a commentary option. Uh, this is the special edition, but I didn't obviously didn't want to play it for the first time with the commentary on. That would be kind of dumb. And I don't have time. I'll, I'll play five day or seven days a stranger next, or the this the, the next one. 
Uh, just to make sure that I have this right, five days is the first one, seven days is the second, then Trilby's Notes, then six days. There's also this one, two, one, three. I didn't know what order that was. I'm not sure we'll get to all of them today, but I'll probably finish at least two at this rate. The arts of black magic and necromancy. Summoning angry spirits to their bodies. Oh, th thank you. Murderous wraiths are nigh indestructible when they hop from body to body, but tying them down to their old bodies retains some partial mortality, a state in which they can be destroyed. Simply enough, place the spirit's original body in a place of fire and death. Return it in its old clothes, then read aloud the following passage. I bid nothing. So if he was naked when he died, we're doomed. There's just a load of magic gobbledygook here. I want to read it out. I should use the, this book on myself. Thank you for the gameplay tip. Warning, the summoning of a wraith will often bring back other unquiet spirits who will haunt those who hold their possessions. I should get rid of the teddy bear then. Um, okay. So I assume the place of fire and death is the room with all the dead things. Trouble Use the stars. That's the release order. Okay, so the one, two, one, three was released after. I guess I'll play it that in that order then. Is one, two, one, three worth playing? Like it didn't seem like a mainline game, if that makes sense. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing again? That's reassuring. Need to find the ghost original body. Destroy it. Right. Where could the body be? I don't know. Seem to find bodies in the basement. All right. Maybe I should use some keen body hunting abilities. To use that. No, 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 stop. No, talk. No. All right. So I know where he slept. Never heard of 1213. Oops, sorry. Special edition read me. Yeah, it just says 1213, uh, a game by Ben Yatsi Krasha. Um, all episodes of 1213 in a convenient package. I don't, I don't know what that is. I think I'll check that out after the other one. Oh, it's blank now. It's a blank canvas. That's not creepy at all. Let's just take that. Oh, it's not related to the thing? I guess it's clothes. Maybe the mask? Maybe the spooky mask thing? Maybe that would work. If it's not related to Chozo thing, I don't think I want to check it out. Definitely not today. I don't think I'm going to get through all four, or yeah, all four of them, but at least two, maybe three. I don't know. I guess it depends on how late we go, but, and so where is this guy? I need that mask, I think. We shove him in one of the bedrooms. Where's the thing? What's up, buddy? It won't. No, no. Talk to the, the, the guy, you idiot. Mr. Trilby? Yes, Jim. Can I ask you a favor? Sure. I still have the mask and apron and the knife from last night. Why did we get? Why did we leave you with those? Did you take them and throw them away from me? I don't really like having them around, sure. Whoa. Jim? Uh, how are you feeling, buddy? My head still hurts a lot. I feel a bit woozy. Apart from that, I'm fine. What happened last night? Well, me and Miss Taylor were in the living room. This big man entered with a mask and tried to kill us with a big knife. We were able to get away and we heard Mr. Hardy screaming. Miss Taylor said to wait here. A bit later, she came back and told me it was you in the mask. I didn't really believe that. Then I went to the trophy room and I found this wooden doll thing on the floor. Next thing I remember, I was in the bedroom and my head really hurt. Did they really try to kill you? No. It was something did through you. I don't like this place anymore, Mr. Trilby. You and me both. I don't I don't think you should have ever liked this place. This was this was bad before the whole murder thing, honestly. But whatever, he doesn't seem like the brightest stick in the shed or whatever. Get 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 get, get down the stairs! Alright, so I'm gonna dip his possession in salt, I guess. 
which I, I guess is the spooky apron. Is that your... I mean, that doesn't work. Dip mask. Wait, where's that cord? The machete. <laughs> I want to use that on myself. Can I wear it? Can I dress up the body? No. Well, I guess let's look at them. Ordinary old-fashioned welding mask spotted with blood. Blacksmith's leather apron. Machete is obviously coated in crimson. Hold on a sec, I need to refill my drink. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Um, hmm. I think we're missing something or other. Oh, was there footsteps? I didn't hear them actually. Oh, scissors! Or something. I think there's scissors. Yes, scissors. Not get the scissors, you! Get the. Oh, pixels. Why? Alright. I'm sure this is easier to play at like native resolution. Like when it's. When the pixels are big as hams. Um, can I make can I make a string? Kind of thin strip on the. Okay, so now we we can make the the divining rod thing again. All right, we need a, we need a stick though. Is this a stick? <laughs> it, that's close enough to a stick, right? Yeah. That's yeah, fine. What do you have to say about this? Let me show this to you. This is totally not screwed up. I promise. Here you go. I may need it. Okay. I'm just drinking water. TV? Oh, right. Yeah. What's up, TV? Budget. We now go to Peter Dalter, reporting from the gate of Defoe Manor. Over the last couple of hours, a large number of police cars have gathered around the mansion grounds. Not sure what the official position is. We heard a reference to a hiker hearing mysterious noises coming from the mansion over the last couple of nights. What's happening out there now, Peter? Well, since I arrived here, there have been three attempts to break down the front door. All unsuccessful. I understand the authorities are still waiting to hear word from Michael Gresham's about getting the hold of the key. Default Manor is, of course, reported the last, last known location missing newsreader Simone Taylor. Afraid. Okay, so your last word is afraid if anybody's trying to piece that together. But I think I missed things. I know it's like the plaque behind it, but it looks kind of like the moose has like blushy cheeks. Like, senpai? It's probably just like something you will, like you will be afraid or something. Yeah, that's the place of fire and death, because, you know, the dead animals in the fireplace. Alright, let's dip this in salt. Give him a heart attack when he comes back. And obviously the place where he sleeps is in there. Well, obviously helicopters have not been invented yet. Or something. I guess this must be where he slept if he's chained to these all the time. Alright, where's the 
is it pointing? Seems to be indicating upwards. All right. All right. Where are you looking at now? Upwards. He died upstairs, really? Kind of a surprise. Unless it was really Jim the whole time. Jim, why? All right, look. To my right. To my right. Did he die in here? That'd be kind of weird. To my left, okay. Bathroom? I told you guys about the bathroom, it's always spooky in here. It came to the south. Ah, this again. Why? Fun gameplay mechanics. Excuse me. Look, use. Use or no look. Let's point to the north. Ah, oh, please! Why? No, not that north. Just just, just right around here. Straight down. No, trill tiles. Can't get them out with my bare hands. Uh, Simone, give me your crowbar. I need it for non-creepy reasons. Like, definitely not hitting you in the back of the head with it the moment you give it to me. Oh, he's so bad with stairs. Anytime there's a crowbar in a video game, you know you're gonna need it. Simone, Trilby... Uh, I, I, I need... I need... I need your crowbar! What do you mean? Uh, maybe I can pry it up with something else. Scissors? Shitty back. Can lever up the floor with the machete. Pay dirt. All these bones are pretty oddly shaped. Kid okay, must have been born deformed. Poor kid. Well, let's desecrate your body. You're coming with me. Heavily decayed remains of Sir Roderick Defoe's unwanted son. Well, how did how did it get up here? Whatever. Now I gotta dress him up and toss him in the fire. I think. No, Trilby. Amazing. Well, there's twenty. Body. Do you want? Do you want to see it? There you go. <laughs> she doesn't care. Uh, 
think we just plop this down. In the room with the fire. There you go. What does it count as a room of fire and death? Those are some big bones! Uh oh. Dramatic music starting. Here, wear this. Somehow I don't think I've improved in its looks. Uh. in the fire. Think of uses for that other than as kindling. Um, I read the words. I probably should have saved. In this hall of death and by the light of Prometheus' gift, I call thee. I bring the gifts that attempt to bring thee back. I bring the helm that thou wouldst be masked. I bring thee thy armor that thou would be clothed. I bring thy sword that thy would be armed. Come. 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 Yeah, definitely should have saved. Okay, this is. That seems good. Or. Maybe I should have planned this better. <laughs> yeah. Dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as so you can see, author commentary. How far back am I? Ah, oh, way far back. Yeah, I wish it auto saved like at the beginning of the day. Okay, wait. Use this. Already unlocked. Go through the thing. Blah blah blah. Point and clicks. Point and clicks love to make you waste your time. All right, it's Mr. Spookman, Incorporated. Uh, upstairs, you gotta see the Spooky Man in the, ba in the bathroom. I was gonna try to kill you in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm a genius, oh no. Yeah, yeah, it's the spooky guy, Trilby blah blah. Do 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 do. Then we got a bonk, Jim, rip, blah blah blah, da 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 da. I don't care, I don't care. Do 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 do. do, do. All right. Give me your stuff. Give me your murder gear. Why did we let you keep your murder gear? I don't care. Minister reports disappeared, now afraid. Huh. Right, get that old black magic book. Alright, we got it. The scissors in in the one room. That's so ugh. Maybe it's the first word too? Cause they're like jar garbled first words as well on each of the things. Can I just can I just <laughs> I may need it! Are you referring to the machete or Simone? <laughs> I may need it. Eh. Uh, scissors. Okay. Ugh, pixel hunting. All right. Let's go make a salty machete thing. I wonder if you can just use the tiles immediately. Probably not. Salt, that 
crispy goodness. Oh, that's if it starts with head, no comment, that's probably not. Doesn't seem like a sturdy thing. All those flavors and you toast to be salty. I mean, I'd probably be pretty salty if my dad like locked me in a basement, a murder basement, and then <laughs> tried to murder me. I guess is what is to be done in the old murder basement, but. Kind of disappointed I can't just like stab them with the machete and be like, haha, actually it was me the whole time. I made up the ghost thing. 20 straight down. Then of course you have to snip the, the them separate again. Just because. Then you gotta prime up with the thing. Stab the body. Oh. All right. All right, um... Hmm. Get, get, get your booty down there. By the way, one of my, uh... Well, not quite the last, but uh, one of my Kickstarter uh, things that I backed and like never came out um, finally arrived today. There's this Mahu Soju um, trading card thing that they made, and they like one of the one of the people involved like took the money and then like and like or took part of the money and ran or something, and then they ended up getting a publisher to make like. Like to actually fulfill it, and they actually did get all of it chipped out. So, crazy story, but hey, I, I got the product, and I've got the box here on my desk. I haven't even opened it yet, but uh, that's one one uh, I should save before I do any of this. Uh, corpse time. Uh, not put, 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 put corpse. Oh, I didn't read the thing. You got to read the thing first, of course. Put him on the floor. Uh, let's put a crap on, I guess. Hey, Simone, you want to help me with this whole exorcism stuff? Uh, talk. Uh, did you meet me in the trophy room? Do you have a plan? Yes, I've got a plan. The plan is for you to somehow help me not die. Let's get other guy. Mr. Jim Bob. Mr. Jim Bob Cletus upstairs. Have one last fight with the stairs. It's the last time. I'm honored to have faced such a valiant foe. Get your ass downstairs, Jim. Yes, trophy room. Well, okay. He walks weird when he's going up and down. <laughs> just walk, just open the door through my body, thanks. Oh, please. There's no spooky man in the painting this time, so that's a good omen. The wall socket is upside down. I guess maybe, I guess it's probably just supposed to be the British thingy. Alright. We're gonna save over a good time. Um, do you want do you want a teddy bear, Jim? 
I'm gonna hold the gun, actually. The gun would probably be good. Gun! Get get the gun, dude! Oh, pixels. Why? Here, hold the gun. Is this part of the plan? You're just getting <laughs> you're just getting kick of seeing women with big guns. Both. Please, Simone. Oh, alright. Alright. Uh, let's read that book. Hall of Death in the Light of Blah Blah Blah. We know. Come. Come. Woo! Spooky ghost! Shoot him! Jesus Christ! What now? Shoot him! She'll be what? Uh. Y you. You! I knew you were the evil from the moment I came to this world, demon child. Or you came to this world. Oh, it's dad. May God forgive me for having a part in your creation. Why did you kill me, brother? I helped you when you were injured. I bandaged you up when her father made this mistake. No mistake, young one. Now do you see why I would try to keep this you away from this creature? It has no understanding of human ways. You're wrong, father. You could have given him a chance to be normal. Cease your prattling, Matthew. It's time to put an end to the horror I unleashed. What are you doing, father? Father, no! Father! Blip. Dead. And he's on fire. I think now would be a good time to take our leave. <laughs> just let the whole place burn down. That's eh, fine. Nobody needed that place. Miss Taylor, what the hell's been going on in there? We tried to get in there for hours, and suddenly the place catches fire, the door bursts open, and you two. Wait, where's Trilby? Us two? Where's Trilby? I, I just asked that. I thought it was right behind us. You saying there's someone else in there? Rest in pieces, Trilby. Trilby! Wait a second. Trilby the cat burglar? Yes. Get someone in there. He could be in trouble. Maybe the ghost got him. Ghost? <sighs> Think you two better get down to the station. But Trilby! Fire Brigade will find him if he's there. In the meantime, if you'd like to step this way. Death, of course, comes to us all. Came to Sir Roderick Defoe and his youngest son in the shape of each other. Is destroying the ghosts the right thing to do? He's acting like any other dumb animal. Oh well. Guess he and his family will have plenty of time to discuss it, wherever they are. As for me, well, I have no complaints. Lived a life many would consider out of the ordinary. I have only one regret. Even Simone and Jim to explain it all to the police. That was hardly gentlemanly con conduct for a gentleman thief. I'm sure they'd understand that rushing into a field full of police and officers wouldn't have been a good idea. It's gonna be a long walk home. I have some important matters to attend to. I have to track down my fence, for one thing. I have to punch him very hard in the face. Five days a stranger. All right. Next up is some number of days a sacrifice. RPG Maker 2000, huh? All right. Give me a second here. Uh, wait, let me make sure this is the end. Like, there's nothing else. Seven days a skeptic? Yeah. Interview. <laughs> Why is there a dog? Amateur game designer Yahtzee was... <laughs> Why is Yahtzee a dog? I always knew he was a dog. I knew it. <laughs> An adolescent border collie. Yahtzee, welcome. Nice to be... Okay. 
Yeah, we're just going to go straight to the game, but let me tweet here.